have been. Closer than it should have been. We'll be able to get the sidestep though at the very last second and uh, everything's okay. Oh no. That's also not what you want to see. Uh, LeBron tried to, to salve his boy little pleb, salve himself. Uh, we might, might die Boom, though. Yeah, Boom looks he like he's going to be the first blood and he gets brought down. LeBron able to claim the kill thanks to the additional decay. <laughs> The damage doing well. They tip boom as well. There we go. You don't just inflict physical damage. Think about it. They are lacking on on magical damage, so maybe just trying to alleviate some of that pressure from them and and make sure that they don't get caught out. Ooh, nice middle. little play here in the mid lane. There's gonna be a catch off the sacred arrow, and here comes Boom with the young dark rift. They're looking for the kill onto Mobe. Not able to find it just yet, and they don't find it with the side of fist either. Morty's kisses rain up top the heavens. They wanna try and bring down Boom, and Boom falling lower and lower should end up dying. Alex. Has himself inside the power clock with this mo young Monkey King as well. Monkey King will dish out enough damage to help get this kill. Who calls come on? Finally does come out. As Armel escaping away from low play. Mixer, one more right click will kill him. Yamich is the one that gets a double kill for that one instead. As he does have the young damage at the very tail end of the fight. They're not they have the blink tag up on Mobe as well. And you can already tell that they want to play really, really fast. Like they have some low cooldowns for them to play around with. Mechanism is up as well for, for, for Mixer. So... This is just oh, going to be this. them constantly fighting. Oh no! Chrysalis! He primal springed into the creep camp! Oh no! This is not what he wanted. Dark Rift was channeled up by Boom. He's actually going through it. They're gonna try and force this fight. Here comes the Underlord. Inside the Moonlight Shadow. Pit of Malice catches onto two. They'll find LeBron very quickly. Trying to bring down this Tombstone as early as they can. Whilst the DK just TPs out in front of them. So you find a little bit of revenge, but... Next couple of fights, right? Like, they're getting Guardian Greaves. They've got Blink Dagger. They're gonna get BKB up on Mobe. And they really just want to constantly fight with Team Secret. I love as well the fact that they keep forcing these fights while Morphling is still farming elsewhere. They're going to try to go onto Armel. Do they have the damage for this? This time around, the mech does help him out. So he's allowed to escape some of this burst. Wukong's also triggered out by Chrysalis. And that enables him to kill Alex. The Dragon Tail stun goes back onto the Ember. Ember! Ooh, oh, Mixer! Gets the assassination with the Scatter Blast before he can get himself away. And now suddenly, Boom's the one in danger. Fire Snap quickly sends forth the Morphling. Little player finds the kill. They're still trying to chase for more though. Yamich forced into the retreat with Morty's kisses covering the attack potential. They're very mindful about how he is playing this map. And unfortunately for Secret, they just, you can see that the issue that they have with some of their lockdown um, and, and keeping heroes inside of Wukong, something that I talked about with the tombstone as well. <gasps> they found oh, Chrysalis. Oh, they got him. They found him on top of the tree. Alex, right there with the hook shot, they bring him down low and they find the kill. Dark Rift will be coming in from this Underlord, but he will be coming alone. Get a two-hero Pit of Malice. They want to try and at least find this young DK. Mix up falling very low to Puppy and will end up dying to the Emperor's shots. At the same time, though, Armel looking to try and chase down this Clockwork. Alex still alive for now. Boom. Forced to pop the mech to keep this fight going. And it will be good enough for them to bring down the Clockwork. So two for one. Off laner and support in exchange for a carry. But they need to be careful here. Beautiful chains come with the arrow as well. Connecting onto this Boom. LeBron finding himself dead here. As Boom set him up, Yamich kept him in place, and Poppy finishes him off. The small fling will keep staying alive right now. LeBron might not be as lucky though, eating a lot of impetus shots from Poppy. But the entirety of Ancient Tribe still somehow keeping their distance here. Jump in from RML potentially. Three heroes inside of the Pit of Malice. And they haven't been able to kill any of them though. That's not Monkey King underneath the Tier 2 tower. He's losing too much HP. He needs to get out of here. He dies to the waveform of Little Play, who gets a double kill for his efforts. And RML will get hit by the young, big Adapter Strike, finished off by Mobe with the Dragon Tail Stun. And they should be able to find Boom as well. Adapter Strike cancels out the TP. He tried to Dark Rift away, but the Water Boy says no. The Water Boy says your life is mine, and that's three heroes down for the count. Low play, cannot to kick off. They initiate onto Puppy, maybe not the best target here. And Puppy was thinking about setting up for a counter. But also just happy to waste their time. Gets jumped on yet again. There's gonna be a tombstone down. Four star forward. Puppy still alive. Oh, no Limit way. Limit up. They get him with the hook shot. Alex wants the skill, but Alex won't find it. With the young usage of the Guardian Greaves, they jump him back. Alex gets into the Wukongs, and he just gets brought down by Yamich. Oh no, that's not what we wanted. Boom though, he's gonna be tanking quite a lot of damage from Lil Pleb. Lil Pleb pops BKB, jumps forward, won't be able to find the kill. They know there's no more Wukong's command for this one. Jump in with the Primal Spring, they break onto Chrysalis, but they don't find the stun. He's able to Primal Spring on Scotty, BKB, Diffusal with the Echo Saber. Now this feels pretty strong. Once he gets... I would have preferred Aghanim's next instead of Refresher, but... 
Crystalis is the Monkey King Specialist. As we see an arrow connecting now onto the Braun. Four stop yet again showing its value by keeping this Undying alive. Pit of Manus connects onto both Lil Pleb as well as the DK. Lil Pleb though, still alive. Going into the Strength move. Undying does get brought down, but he buys back instantly. We still have tools from both sides to be able to pursue this fight. And Roshan is going to be dealing with those Tombstones. So they know that Tombstone is down. It's team Secret. That's one team fight spells, one less team fight spell to worry about. Still concerned though about the Morty's kisses. They jump onto Puppy here inside the river. Puppy should die. Does that buyback? Comes back instantly. Dark Rift. They open up space for Puppy to just run back into the fight. But low play. They want to try and just bring down this Monkey King inside the Wukongs, but they do not have the damage to do it. They force a dieback onto the Undying and forward in the fight. Oh no, oh, Amel! No. He went too far forward, but he's still alive somehow. He eventually gets brought down. The illusion from Morphling will also tank the arrow. Armel buys back instantly to go back into the fray. He does have a remnant down. And they succeed in bringing down both supports here. Clockwork lacking buyback. And dying having already utilized it. So gets off the Wukong's command. No heroes caught inside this as Armel trying to at least bring down one of these heroes. No pleb in the midst of this lane. He's still fighting for his life. He needs to get the BKB off and he does. Still looking for Puppy and Puppy somehow still alive at the end of all of this. Lil Pleb, his BKB will end. Armel pops his own BKB, jumps into the fray, able to bring down the clockwork. And Lil Pleb, without BKB, he is vulnerable and he is going to die. He walked too far away from the rest of his team and now he gets brought down as a result. Mixer, he's getting chased right now by Armel and Chrysalis. Does still have the ultimate and BKB. And he's actually going to turn onto Armel, able to get out the kill, taking away the Aegis. Mobe also finds the BKB. Clockwork buys back. Can they make anything happening off the back of the spyback? There will be Morty's kisses. They're raining them down. They want Chrysalis. They want this Monkey King. And they're going to get him. Puppy in danger as well. Can he get away from this DK? No, he cannot. There will be a fire snap cookie to ensure that Mobe sticks on top of him. The stun is there. <laughs> One more breathe fire and a couple more right clicks. They finally get him. In the meantime, though, they did manage to get the quick kill on to LeBron elsewhere in the fight. Armel still going for more. He's gotten on top of double kill. He wants a triple. He wants Mixer. And he's going to get him. It's a full team wipe for Team Secret. So although they lose their carry, they lose their captain, but they still win the fight. Yeah, that was... Oh, the heroes really fall off. The, the snap fire, the clock, and the, uh, the Undying really do fall off in the latter stages, whereas Secret, all their heroes are pretty good. We're gonna try to force a fight here. Oh, Secret, they get an Aeon just out to keep their Marana alive. They will still try to force the fight onto Boom, though. We've got the slight combo stolen in by this Morphling. They really want this Undying. They're not gonna find him, though. They will kill a Clockwork inside of his own power cards. RML going to the back of the fight. Two heroes caught inside the Searing Chains, and the Undying should be following Clock into the grave. BKB activated by Mixer to try and run away here, but I'm not sure he'll be allowed to do so as they bounce on top of him. They have the Bounder Strike, they have the Searing Chains, they kill him. Low Pleb? Low Pleb? Mate, where are you going? What is happening? He's going way too far forward here on the Morphling. Overconfidence to bring down Boom, and yeah, he gets the kill on the Underlord. But that costs his own life and potentially the game because he doesn't have... Yeah, just dying in your own rage cage is, is never fun. And now Ancient Tribe, they have this uh, difficult decision. Do they just let this Aegis go and try and hold out for 30 seconds? Or do they have a Hail Mary? This is going to be the last fight, it seems. They throw in Morty's kisses, but this might aid Team Secret to kill Roshan even faster. They go in, no play. He finishes off the Roshan, no but he does not. He gets the Aegis. He actually got it. What a player. Wukong's command is dropped down, though, and that's what the additional command brings. So it is massive around this fight. But they still kill Chrysalis. He's low on HP. He got the cheese. He ate it on the far edge of the fight, so he stays alive. They now turn their attention towards Mobe on the north side of the pit. They've taken down the first life from Lil Pleb. He popped BKB to get that Aegis, so he has no tools to get himself out of this pit. As he dies, Mixer able to TP out at the very least. DK forced to buy back, but there's some allies streaming into the base here. Team Secret, they popped the Dark Rift. They want to end this game right here and right now. They forced the buyback from Lil Pleb. It is still 4v5 though. Fire Snap Cookie throws forward the illusion. There's going to be the Wukong's command. They're going back onto low play. Four stops will be there. There's the Searing Chains. They force him into the base yet again. So he's safe for now. Undying will also respawn. And Team Secret, they had to expend the cheese to keep the Monkey King alive. Gobble and they up. had to jump away from the Aegis. But there's the Gobble Up. Three heroes stunned up by this. But that might just be dooming Mobe. Alex about to die yet again. Mobe doesn't have BKB, so he's gone as well. Lil Pleb doing his best. Trying his hardest, but unfortunately, there are limits to what you can do, even as the water boy. And looks like Team Secret might have just broken this game wide apart. They go in onto LeBron, Undying is dead. He does bite back. Lil Pleb doing his best to try and cut the waves, 
but he will eventually get caught up with this and killed. BKB in one second, he gets it off maybe. BKB doesn't even need it, he actually just kills off Armel. Okay. Armel can't buy back either, and he goes in with the BKB. Very strong hero, but no mana to get home here. Fluke, he might be dead anyway. There's gonna be the follow up. Yamich catches him with the arrow, set up by the partner strike. And that's a dieback on no pleb. The ancient is exposed. Team Secret have four heroes. And they will not be denied. Game number one should almost certainly go the way of Team Secret. Uh, they try one more play. LeBron gets thrown in. There's actually a lot of damage with the Morty's Kisses. But it's not enough. They lose out on LeBron one more time. And that's going to be that. GG well played as called. Ancient try to throw in the towel. Granting the victory towards Team Secret. Even affair in this mid lane. Uh, we'll see once he starts, or when he decides he wants to move around, or if he just wants to finish off the blink dagger in the mid lane. Down bottom, Mixer, as well as this Bloodseeker from Chrysalis. Two of them are just vibing. There is more farm for this Bloodseeker, but more farm might be coming the way of Mixer as he gets the first blood off of Puppy's life. Alex will be sacrificed for this, but it's a trade you'll take any day of the week. Needs to be careful though, playing into this Bloodseeker as a. There's a bit of damage that can come out tonight. The creeps, but if you're just sitting there spamming chain lightning on him, then he can't try and get that trade on you because he wants to trade his health with your health and then heal up off of the creeps. But if you're just spamming mana at him, then he can't do anything because he's not getting any trade out of it. Might kill Puppy again here, though. He's in trouble. Chain lightning does connect onto him, and the Scorched Earth is enough to find that kill. Mixer with the secondary kill. They also lose Armel in the mid lane. Is that a solo kill from Mob? What? Mm. Dude. Yamich came to help, and Moby just yeah, pays the price instead. Scorched the Earthfall, going for another two seconds. But Mixer does not want to chase beyond the tier 1 tower. Man, oh man, what a time for Alex to be back at the base. If Alex is there with the Fire Snap cookie, that's a dead Bloodseeker. But because he's not, they cannot find the kill. And top, the kill instead is going to happen onto LeBron. As Yamich has returned to the lane. Lil Pleb has abandoned the safe lane. And a lone clockwork means a dead clockwork at this stage of the game. As Team Secret collect his life. Yeah, level 6 is very, very important. And you said, Alex, if he goes down the bottom, that's a free kill. And that's exactly what they get. They didn't have even landing phase, but their mid game and their rotations with their supports is exactly what pulls them back into these games. Mm. Puppy is dead. Saw's mates. Uh, he's just going to get ran at right now. Mixer is going to try to let him down. They have Fire Snap Cookie in three seconds. And once that happens, Puppy should be dead. I don't even think they'll need the spell, though. As Mixer able to collect them with the third point into Scorched the Earth. In the meantime, though, they also go on to LeBron up on top. So the five positions end up just losing their lives all across the map. And the tier one towers are both Soon. under. Uh, okay. Get a nice he knows, up, but yeah, he knows something's happening. Yet. Puppy's gonna come for the D-Ward. They know. They are prepared for this. He's gonna lose his life first, though, I think. Let's see. Once he walks into the range, should be dead. There's gonna be the hook shot to start things off. Mobe reveals the Blink Dagger. There's the Avalanche toss, but he gets corrupted for too. his efforts. Do they get him out of here? No, they do not. Also, with the Snowball as well, cancels the TP and cancels the life of this Tiny. Alex doing his utmost to try and run away right now. There will be a scatter block. No player better be careful because he's actually been scouted out by the Observer Ward. They know where he's at. They're going to try and make the jump onto him. They're moving forward. They find him with the Snowball, but there's going to be the Rod of Atos in the opposite direction. Will he be able to escape here? He's inside these trees. Leshrac coming in as well. They get the Avalanche toss though onto the Lesh. Morty's gets is raining over. They've already brought down Puppy. Armel falling very, very low, and somehow, someway, low play is still alive. The Doom comes out onto Leshrac. Armel almost certainly gonna die here. They do at the very least catch the life of low play, but boom, not gonna be allowed to escape as the Avalanche toss prevents that from happening. And as they eventually kill him, Ooh. Mixer nearly died for that one. That's gonna be a double kill for the Doom. Four heroes to fall overall, and mid lane. They wanted Chris Mobe goes Ooh, forward. Oh, it's gonna be the oh no! Avalanche, the toss would it be there? It will be right after the Doom comes out. Mixer's in danger. Chrysalis runs away from this fight. Jamish did find the snowball save, at least for now. And they will have some damage coming in from this Lesh Rack. Lesh is gonna be now in much more mortal danger. as she does eventually die. Low Pleb showed up for the fight to throw in the right click damage. They've lost the Doom though, but Low Pleb with his own BKB trying to TP out. Doesn't feel like he can keep taking this fight. Actually cancels his TP. Hold his position, no pleb. What bravery is this? What bravery is happening here, Fluke? Why did he cancel his TP? Oh no. He got it canceled. 
He got it cancelled from the uh, the pulverize. The mini stun was, was oh, too much. His BKB, BKB didn't ended. last long enough. Oh, no. yeah, they can challenge for this area. But crucially, they don't really feel like taking this fight right now. They know that Team Secret have a better fighting opportunity at the moment. Rough place to be because you have to now deal with this Aegis onto Leshrac as well. So the they're one hero you the want kisses. to do, I'm actually going to go into this. Morty's Kisses with the Clockwork Ultimate. They force Chrysalis into popping BKB. And they don't even get the Ancient kill. Unfortunately, uh, Alex might die. Went forward with the Fire Snap quickly. Did not find any heroes low enough to realistically threaten. So instead, will just find himself dead. Went in for the Glimmer gameplay, but there's already a young Sentry Ward. But the Shard stops them from being able to find this kill. Boom. Forced to pulverize him. But it's only a 28 second cooldown. Way too short, but what the hell? Still allows them to Dude. get the kill. I, I was he's such a good player man like like I, I knew that before he joined secret but like him coming into secret and really just showing that these star position fours are super good to have on your team and speaking of damage he sets up a fight right now jumping onto alex and they will be able to punch him into the air boom with the bkb trample sets up for armel to come and clean him up with the magic damage but here comes the doom though Doom, Infernal Blade plus Doom onto the Primal Beast. That allows him to isolate Armel. Armel falling low. His first life is in jeopardy. He will end up losing it. Oh no, he's still alive. <laughs> Only now does he go down. Mixer as well. Not able to run down the Primal Beast and dies himself instead. Low pleb this time around is enabled to TP out. But there's three heroes falling on the side of Ancient Tribe. Yamich from him, but I think he's recognizing, like you say, the overall lack of damage, the lack of final product from Ancient Tribe. Team Secret have plenty of their final product as they smoke up to try and demonstrate it to us even more. They go in, Yamich. Oh no, they catch Mobe. The Blood Rise will silence him because he doesn't have a BKB. Pulverize comes in. LeBron buys a lot of time though. Unfortunately though, the Power Cox keeps the Leshrac right next to this Primal Beast. Clockwork will die in the river as well. At the same time, Mixer got caught out by Chrysalis. And that was the Sprout used by Lil Pleb. He was trying to save his opponent. Was trying to save his ally, but... It eventually. Magnum Scepter for Mobe. He's he going to have it now. So, yeah. this is going to be a big fight for them. Lincoln Sphere did just come up on a Chrysalis, too. So, Mixer has to be very, very careful about who he blink dooms. Looking towards yeah. Armel. They actually found Armel. They catch him. The Doom is there. But he got the BKB. Are you kidding me? We will lose Yamich early on in the fight. Boom. Pop this BKB. Going right now onto the tiny. Low play. TP onto the far side of the fight to try to get off the right click damage. It's not going to be enough. Fire Snap Cookie catching onto two. Mobe not going to be enabled to keep the full tree volley going. Needs to just blink away from this fight. His heroes died way too quickly. And they found Armel, but unfortunately... You're in out and now as well for Armel. Of course. I'm out. Chilling with this bottle. They did use the stolen tree and to scout out the Roche. Low play was thinking about stealing it, but couldn't. They jump onto the high ground. They go in for the pulverize onto this clockwork. Mobe also in danger. Silenced up by the blood right. Doesn't have BKB. Trying to TP out. Will be able to do so. Mixer. Pop the BKB and the Doom directly out onto this Bloodseeker. Low play just needs to TP out. Mixer going to attempt the same. Unfortunately, Alex will not be so lucky. So that is two BKBs to just TP out and a Doom wasted as well. So you, of course, just run into the... So he is a big old chubby boy. And yeah, Ancient Tribe falling further and further behind. They're going to need a, a miracle team fight with uh, Trey Volley. They're going to try to just get a quick kill onto this Enchantress, but Yamich says no. Denies them getting the kill with these Morty's Kisses. Puppy still alive. Avalanche Trust on the three. And Mopey gets a double kill for his efforts. He's going to try and force this fight. Armel blinks on the north side with BKB and Bloodstone going. They actually don't even need the BKB. This is just a Bloodstone. Low Pleb. He actually gets brought down here. Mixer's dead as well. Two buybacks coming in from both supports. Tree Volley thrown in by Mobe. No space is going to be created because they just go back for a free kill onto Mobe. Should be able to find it. And does cost two support buybacks, but still, Ancient Tribe don't have any buybacks of their own. Oh man, that was... I mean, it was nice from Mobe, but we're really seeing the lack of BKB. Can't protect himself. And Mixer and Low Player both died as their BKBs were coming back. They came back with cooldown, mm. but both of them were like, well, even if I had BKB, I'd probably still lose my life on this one. Mobe, what do you have? Finds an Avalanche Toss, comes in from the back end. They actually kill Chrysalis. Boom will go in with the full trample combination. Mobe should die, but does have buyback. Low play in the meantime. Can he stand his ground? Yes. Lincoln has BKB. He needs help. Uh, buyback? Mobe? Mobe? Help? Team? Okay. Just will TP up. Okay. He, he gets out. 
but yeah, this is this is the issue that I talked about with the with the tiny as a core, right? Like he he has so many items that he has to build to transition that it, it's going to be hard to get that game going for you. I'm going to try and Alrighty. fight here though. No, BKB on low pleb. BKB are not on, to use that on low pleb. They toss him away from the <laughs> track. He does not have this BKB available. Mixer just going to be chasing down Boom outside of the base while he got the Doom out onto him as well. He might get denied, in fact. No, Boom just stays alive. He's going to turn around with the onslaught and the pulverize back onto Mixer. Oh, unfortunately for him, Boom had friends, and the friends make sure that Boom doesn't die. And that was, I think, the Hail Mary play from the side of Ancient Tribe here. He's been doing an outlandish amount of damage himself. Impossible to kill with those 20 talents. We've seen time and time again, Ancient Tribe can't really bring him down. Yamich is uber tanky. And they're going to try force a fight down bottom. Armel just jumps in. He's already got BKB out, so he's a, not a great Doom target. Our Mixer, his own BKB about to finish. He dooms Yamich. That's what he has to resort to right now. Tree Volley will have to finish him off. They also bring Chrysalis low. Chrysalis almost died here, but Mobe... Without a BKB of his own, has no protection versus Doom or Armel. Will end up dead here. And the uproar helps to bring him down. There's no buyback on any of the cores that have been killed. Boom. Going forward with the onslaught. They want to find Lord Pleb and they do get him. They don't have the reveal for him just yet. But they will not really need it. Eventually the Glimmer Cape will end. Eventually they have the damage to kill him. And eventually Ancient Tribe call <laughs> GG. And give Team Secret the 2-0 victory here in the second game and put them 4-1 on the